Hello guys, welcome back to Solid Worksheet Meta Tutorial Part 5. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the different flanges used in Solid Worksheet Meta. And we are going to discuss about the edge flange and meter flange. And we will make this part for the better understanding of edge flange and meter flange. As we have explained lofted band convert to sheet metal base flange tab in the previous four parts. You can watch the videos of first four parts from the links in the description. So let's start. First of all, go to front plane. Select sketch from here. And simply made the U-shape sketch. First of all, I am going to make the line of 6 cm. Then we will make the vertical line of 10 cm and again the line of 6 cm. So go to exit sketch. Now simply go to sheet metal tab, select baseline to add the material to this sketch. So we have added the material to this sketch from here, select mid plane and give the depth to this model i am going to be i am going to give one centimeter here now i have explained these sheet metal gauge tables in the previous videos k factor also so you can watch the previous videos for better understanding so select ok from here now what we will do is we are going to add edge flange to these edges so we will see what is the edge flange Edge flange is a addition of a wall to an edge of sheet metal. So we are going to make the addition of wall to these edges. Select edge flange from here and select this edge. So now you can see that you can make the bending edge using edge flange option from here. We will discuss the more option from here too. So this video is a little lengthy but it is a worth watching video. We will also explain meter flange in the next few minutes. So our edge flange is made. This is the edge flange property manager. This is the angle. You can change the angle according to your dimension or according to your desired geometry. You can change this value from 0 to 180 degree like this. So we are simply going to use 90 degree from here and other than the angle option we have flange length and flange position. So what is flange? Flange are these bend edges you can see. So if you want to change the dimension of flange we have this depth. You can change the flange depth from here. And we have the different virtual shapes of flanges like we have outer virtual shape, we have inner virtual shape and tangent bend. So other is flange position. So what is flange position? Flange position is there from where your flange or edge flange is going to start on the geometry. So first is the material inside. You can see that our edge material is inside and edges, edge flange is making it from the inside of the part. Other is material outside. Next one is material or bend outside. By selecting this option, you can simply make your bend outside of your geometry. So these are the simple positions of bends you can make. So there is another option known as edit flange profile. Let me show you what the, is the purpose of this edit, edit flange profile. So after selecting edit flange profile you will get this profile sketch tab. Don't do anything to this profile sketch tab just make the shape normal now if you want to make the dimension of the flange first of all you have to edit this constraint now select this 
line and give it a dimension of like I am going to give it a dimension of 5.5 or you can also make the center line so that your edge should be edge line should be equally divided so give the value of 5.5 from here now you can see that your edge flange is made it accordingly so now go to finish from here so we have made one edge like this now we have to make other edge flange same to this one so for that we have to select this edge one from here go to edit flange profile select again normal tool command and again make the center line like this make sure that you are going to delete this constraint because you have to edit dimension this is a convert entity constraint if you will not delete this your dimension will not be applied so again I am going to select this Make the center line fix so that it cannot move from here. So I'll give the value of 5.0. So our this sketch is all this edge plan is now ready. Select OK from here. Go to finish. So this was the edge flange. You can make any wall using edge flange feature. Now let me show you what is a custom relief type. For custom relief type, you have to select material inside. So you can see that the fitted rectangle from here, this is the relief. If you will give the custom relief type, like I want to give the O-ground. So now you can see that the relief shape has been changed. So select OK. So now you can see you can make the part easily using relief type and material inside command. Now again go to edge flange, select these edges like this and give it a dimension of 5. Select the other edges also, select OK. So now our half part is ready. This part was made simply using edge flange. Now we will learn about the meter flange. So meter flange is basically the addition of series of flanges to edge of the sheet metal part. Let me show you how you can use this. After selecting meter flange you have this plane option. So I am going to select this edge. Now you can see that you have the plane here. We will simply draw the edge shape like I am going to make the edge shape like this this is mostly used to make custom edge shape this is mostly used to make custom edges now our edge will be made to this face and with the shape of this sketch so go to exit sketch now you can see that our meter flange has been made like this again we have the option of material inside and material outside like this so we are going to select material or bend outside from here and you can also increase or decrease the gap distance from here you can also make the start and end depth from here So select OK from here. Now simply we will mirror this flange to the opposite option, opposite edge. So select this, go to mirror command and select front plane from here like this. So our model is ready. So you have seen that mostly 
the in the brackets or here metal brackets there are the circular shapes or fillets here so we are going to add fillets we are going to add full round fillet so select this edge select the upper edge and select the opposite face and select ok again repeat the procedure for other edge flange select this face now select other face and now select the opposite face select ok from here so now you can see that our model is ready as I have shown you in the starting of video we have done edge flange and neutral flange with detail so in the next video we are going to learn about the hem flange and jog so if you want to flatten the sheet metal for the dimension just select flatten button from here and take the dimension for the manufacturing so this was a simple sheet metal tutorial on edge flange and meter flange. Thank you for watching, keep supporting and keep sharing our channel.